My name's Claire Martin, I'm a jazz singer and I present Jazz Lineup on BBC Radio 3 on Sunday nights at 11.30 to 1am. I first heard the word jazz because I was lucky enough to be brought up by parents who are jazz fans, so all the time my mum would be ironing with Ella on, that would be the big thing. And I think even though I didn't think that was the music I would end up doing, somehow it must have seeped in and um, I, I got to really love it. Jazz Lineup is... Uh, <laughs> jazz Lineup. Jazz Lineup is a um, kind of magazine programme, if you will. It's, it's, it's a real mixed bag, but it's informative, it's what's on, and um, it gives people a really good idea of what's happening in the UK on the jazz scene. The highlights have definitely been when I know I'm interviewing someone who I've listened to for years and years, and, you know, phoning up all the saxophone players in the UK and going, I'm interviewing Michael Brecker tomorrow, give me one good thing to ask him. And also, you know, the thrill and the nervousness of, of sort of being in a great big festival and introducing the band in front of an audience, knowing it's live radio, it's a huge experience. I, I, I was concerned that I, I would have to try and, uh, you know, <laughs> clean up my accent <laughs> for Radio 3. <laughs> But I've got my Joanna Lumley on. For me, when I was 18, in the middle of the 80s, I went to Ronnie Scott's and was absolutely blown away by the fantastic Betty Carter. Her musicianship, the way she controlled the crowd, but also her songwriting. People don't um, often credit Betty Carter with um, being, a, a, you know, she, she's not in, in with Cole Porter and the greats, the Gershwins, but as a modern song songwriter, I think Betty Carter is a real talent. So I'm just always looking for singers that write because I think they have a good understanding of how the song will be delivered and Betty Carter's definitely up there for me. My daughter is a big fan of High School Musical. We watch it often and yeah, she sings a bit around the house and she's actually learning the drums. I told her there's not enough women drummers and that that's how she's going to make a fortune. Jazz is important today because it's an absolute necessary art form. It's as necessary to be supported and enjoyed as classical musical or, or, or opera, which is, you know, unlike jazz, hugely funded. And it's important because they say that jazz is the sound of surprise. And jazz makes you think and jazz makes you feel. It's intelligent music. It's very, very necessary, especially in today's social climate. I think what inspires me to continue trying to be a better musician, trying to be a better singer, is that it's, there's so much more to learn all the time. I, when I think I've nailed a song, I realise actually I haven't quite. It's, a, it's an uphill struggle, but it's really a creative process and it's very rewarding. The fact that I've got terrific world-class musicians in my band, I'm so lucky, and that um, I can do it differently every night. I can be really, I can just try things out, I can change tempo. It's just the thrill of improvising, really, I think is, totally absorbing to me and uh, yeah it's a challenge. Me clap. Yeah. I think my clapboard.